What's going on guys? Michael Livingston here. As you guys know of on Instagram, Wealth with Michael 94 go ahead and shoot that a follow. But we are going to go ahead and get right into this, guys. Now, what I'm going to be showing you guys today is a different uh, method that I actually use, a different strategy I actually use for trading. But guys, you guys got to remember this. You can't just use, you know, one thing and just run with it. You know, a lot of people, I remember I made this mistake, you know, I would... um get into the markets and, and start learning, and then I would just try to go apply it real quick. You guys gotta have multiple different confirmations before you just hop into a trade. Basically what I'm saying is just because it breaks the trend line doesn't mean you hop in the trade. You guys gotta have multiple different confirmations. Real quick too, if you guys want to get access to my free chat, my free trades with markups and everything, go ahead and click the link below and get access for free, like I said, no emails, nothing like that, completely free, no information. So go ahead, click the link below, but let's go ahead and get into these charts real quick. Okay, so we're looking at GBP, JPY on the hour chart. Now what you guys are gonna wanna do is actually go up here and get the RSI, so RSI, Relative Strength Index, go ahead and click on that, boom. Now you got this down here. Now, as you can see, the market basically follows with the RSI, right? Basically follows with it. But when it doesn't, that's showing that there's a sign of divergence, okay? Now, let me show you real quick. Let me show you what divergence isn't, and then I'll show you what divergence is, right? And what I mean by isn't is, look, like right here, right? Price is right here. It makes, one second, it makes a higher high, right? It makes a higher high. And on the RSI, if we look down at the RSI, It also makes a higher high. Whoops. Let me do this, move my screen real quick. As you can see. Come on. Sorry, guys. As you guys can see, made a higher high. Did the same thing as here, right? Now, when we're looking for divergence, we're looking for basically the opposite. Okay? Now, let's see. Okay. Let's see. So right here made a, a higher high, a lower high, but on here it actually made a higher high, right? Let's let's check that out. Boom, boom, and it also hit a crazy resistance. I'm gonna take off all my uh, drawings for you guys so it's not uh, confusing, but right here, boom, made a uh, lower high, and up here it actually made a higher high, right? So the the market went bullish, which means up. But on here, the market is bearish in a bearish trending market. So that's showing that the buyers are exhausted and the market is about to push down, right? So what else are we looking for is resistance. You know, do we see any resistance where, where price is actually coming to? As you guys can see, price is resisting at this area, right? And, and resistance is basically like the median of where, where you see multiple different touches, okay? It doesn't have to be absolutely perfect. You know, you, some people might have their, their, theirs right here because as you can see, price broke, but immediately red candle came right through it. Price broke, red candle came right through it, right? Now, the next question is probably, okay, well, when do you get into the trade? Well, let's go ahead and mark this little area and I'll actually show you on a smaller time frame when I would have actually executed this trade. Two I'm gonna show you two different scenarios too. Most people won't do that. They just literally just sit on here and they just show you one scenario and the, the best scenario. I, I wanna show you, you know, what could happen, okay? So let's go on to the 15 minute chart. Go back to that highlighted area, which we gotta find. This is, all, okay, there we go. All right, let's make this better. Let me zoom in. Okay. All right, now again, same rules apply, the support resistance. If you guys haven't watched my KISS method, that's basically what I'm gonna be talking about right now, the keep it simple stupid method, which is basically waiting for a break and a retest in the market, breaking either support or resistance, which means like your ceiling or your floor, it's breaking either or, and then coming back to retest. So, you know, right here, this is, the, remember this was on the hour chart. You guys remember that, right? Okay, so this is a very strong uh, resistance or um, ceiling on the one hour, okay? But we're on the 15 minute chart. So each candle represents 15 minutes, not an hour. If you guys don't understand that, go watch other YouTube videos. Or guys, comment below if you guys have any questions. Pause the video. Anytime through this you have a question, pause the video, comment below. Also, if you guys are watching this, 
you know, please comment any other videos that you guys would like me to have on Forex, whether it's, you know, uh, trend lines, Fibonacci, you know, just anything that you guys want me to teach you guys, you know, just comment below and I will get back to you. And then if you guys have more in-depth questions, just go to my Instagram, wealthwithmichael94, da ding, and go ahead and shoot me a message and I will get back to you guys, okay? So this is a very strong uh, resistance, right? Very strong ceiling. Now, what I would have uh, seen right here is price, so we saw a uh, strong move downward because what we're going to see is on the hour. I want to show you guys something real quick before I just get into this too crazy. Oh, man. All right. That was a... Sorry, I got to find it real quick. It won't take me that long. Or we'll find a different divergence. <laughs> Sorry, guys. Oh, yeah, we're way off. Way off. <laughs> there we go. All right, I found it. Right here, guys. All right. So let's go back and highlight this area so we don't lose it again. Because we're going to go back on the 15 minute. Now, once I've seen price, uh, you know, come up right here and actually retest, I would actually been looking for sales right here, okay? And I would have put my stop loss just above this wick over here, right above this wick, about 10 to 15 pips above the wick. Okay, so we'll see if that works out here in a minute. Now, when I, once I see this, uh, the second big push down, if I'm still not in the market, then after I see that red candle, I'm hopping in the market for a trade. Or what I'm doing is, and this is, this is honestly what I'm looking for. I'm gonna give you guys three scenarios. You can hop in the trade right here, set your stop loss above here. That's for a more um, high risk of, or more of a higher account because you're gonna have a higher stop loss. Now, if you wanna you know, get that perfect, perfect entry, but when you're trying to get that perfect entry, you might not always get into every trade. You guys gotta be very, very patient and wait for that perfect entry. Now, what I would be waiting for as soon as I see this bearish candle is, I, I, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go on the 15 minute chart and actually see this come back and retest this area, right? Okay, so let's go on to the 15 minute. Okay, boom, on the 15. So that's our strong move on the hour. And as you can see, price came back up here, retested this, uh, this resistance area. We see a red candle and then we hop in the trade for a sell, okay? So where I'd be putting my stop losses, I'd be putting them just above this area, this last wick, about five to, or about uh, 10 pips above it, five to 10 pips above it, and then um, hop in the trade for a sell, right? Because we already seen the market try to go up three different times and it failed. So I don't see it really going past this week. And if it does, I really don't want to be in it, right? So my first take profit, if I'm getting in right here, let me go ahead and uh, mark that area right here. So let's say we get in right here for the sell, right? Okay. We got our stop loss up here, right? And then my first take profit, I would honestly, since I do see these three touches, I would probably put it a little bit above, right up there. If we see price go up there, we, we don't want to be in the trade. That's only about a 20-something pip stop loss, right? Okay. I always answer my own self, right? Okay. Isn't that funny, guys? Can't wait to see the comments on that. I don't really care. So I'm just trying to help you guys. So we get in right here after this red candle forms, right? You could have got in right there, or you could have got in like, a, like when we said on the close of this red candle. I'm trying to give you guys multiple different scenarios of how this could play out. You're not just watching the markets all day long. I mean, you could be, but. All right. So we're going to look, we get in the trade right here. We're going to look for previous uh, resistance or, or support to see where to actually take profit at. Now, me personally, I like to be very safe. So I would be taking some profits right in this area, especially because we're getting in right here. Right. So our first take profit. 28.9 pips. Okay. And we're risking, whoops, not 34. Well, we did have it at 34. So this is, this see, what something's wrong right here. Hold on, guys. Let me redo this. It was saying negative. There we go. Where it's still going to be about a 29 pip move um, or a 29 pip stop loss. But like I said, like what I was saying earlier is it, it's already been trying, it's tr tried to go up three different times. You know, if you have a bigger account, I would definitely have my stop loss up here. But if you have a smaller account, you're trying to get that perfect entry, I would just leave it right here. 16 pip stop loss and you're going for 40 pips. That's a, um, 
32. That's just over a 2 to 1 risk to reward ratio. See, that's what I'm saying. This is messed up somehow. Um, and then my, oh, because I'm doing it backwards. See? Sorry, guys. I was wondering why I was so messed up. We're doing a short position, not a long position. <laughs> two, there we go. See, a 2 to six, a 2 to 2.6 risk to reward ratio. If it's up here, then you're about a 1 to 5 risk to reward ratio, okay? So let's go look for a, uh, a bullish divergence, okay? Let's see here. We got to get back on the hour. Whoops, not two hour guys. I don't look at I look at the hour and 15 minute, and then when I'm looking to see the trend, I look at the uh, four hour and the daily to see which way the market is actually going. Okay, so let's see here if we can find some divergence. I'm looking for some bullish divergence. So I gotta bring this up. Okay. Oh, right here. Look. You guys see that? Boom, boom. But right here, it's making uh, lower lows, but on here, it's making higher lows, right? So we want to pull out our trend line real quick. Boom, boom. As you guys can see here, boom, boom, right? <clears throat> and as you guys can see on the one hour chart, it's a very strong support area. And you can see there's a blue, there's a green candle. You could have hopped in for the trade, set your first take profit right here at the next um, area. I actually pulled it down a little bit. The next area of some type of, of support or resistance. Sorry, let me take that off. The next area of support or resistance, and I'd actually put my take profit there, okay? And then the stop loss, very, very simple, just a little bit below. This is a very, very small risk with a very, very high reward. Okay, not every trade is going to be exactly the same. Not everything is going to be absolutely pretty, guys. So about 60 pips with a 20 pip stop loss. So that's a 3.3 uh, three, uh, 3 to 1 risk to reward ratio. I mean, people die to have a 3 to 1 risk to reward ratio, guys. It's not that hard. So if you guys have any questions, you know, just feel free to, you know, comment below, message me on Instagram, and I will make sure that I get back to you um, on those questions, guys. But other than that, I'm going to hop off here, and I will see you guys on the next video because I'm going to make a bunch more. Peace!